Hello everyone, welcome back. We are on the road. This may look familiar to uh, frequent viewers. This is the same trip to when we saw the greatest collection I've ever seen. This is to go look at that Star Wars collection. I kind of made this video two videos. So this Dark Horse Star Wars collection, a gentleman had passed away and ended up his brother sold his collection. I was told that there was the good stuff in here, like uh, Knights of the Old Republic, Star Wars, Dark Knight. I mean, literally anything that was Star Wars related was going to be here. So I start paging through this, and I quickly start seeing, one, everything's in a bag and board. A lot of things were double bagged and boarded. Two, it wasn't just issue one of Shadows of the Empire. It was issue one through six. It wasn't just X-Wing Rogue Squadron number three. It was one through four. So it was like, it was complete mini-series of the Star Wars runs together. So I start I start getting excited. Now, this this whole time that I had been with this, uh, the gentleman um, that was selling this collection, you know, it was mostly just looking at his collection. So he had a whole area uh, that I didn't show in that other video where, uh, it was an area where he was basically selling stuff. So he he flips stuff. Um, you know he sells some stuff on eBay. I think he's actually gone to a couple shows. So I start seeing this, um, and I'm like, okay, all right. The the good stuff is here. It hasn't been picked through, um, and uh, I I start the gears start turning, and I'm already starting to think price. Um, so. Roundabout, we were looking at like three long boxes, like three and a half long boxes of stuff. But like I said, everything's d d double bagged and boarded, so everything's like twice the amount. I start seeing Star Wars Tales. There's some major keys in that. Um, and I start asking him, you know, who's, who's picked through this? He says, nobody's picked through this, but the Knights of the Old Republic run is gone. So we know the keys in that are not, are not there. Um, and the other big one that you should be thinking about is the Clone Wars, first Ahsoka Tano. That's been that's been taken out. So the big ones right there are gone. And then um, first Grand Admiral Thrawn, um, the uh, was the heir to the Empire that was gone. So the major major home run books are not there. So other Star Wars keys you should be thinking about. I'll let you kind of think about them what was what could be there so uh with the I, I took the condition into account the the completeness I, i'm like okay i i gotta get i gotta get this guy off of these books there was a whole nother long box of detective comics and batman which i definitely want for that run so i start uh throwing out offers of uh the the star wars stuff and the batman stuff and you're seeing some minor keys in there. I know the books are packed in there kind of tight. I didn't really, couldn't really show much. But getting back to the Star Wars, I'm like, okay, what would be like a good uh, price on this? I'm just getting excited just watching this again. Um, and I, I just throw out a number, $500 for the Star Wars um, and the Detective Comics and Batman lot. So... Um, I'm gonna wait. We'll wait until the end. To, I'll tell you exactly what I paid. But he he knew what he had. Let me let me just be clear with this. He knew what he had, but he doesn't. He didn't know about Star Wars stuff. Like he he doesn't know the keys. And then I saw this. That's a complete run of Kanan, the last Padawan. It's all there. I'm trying to find the issue. Uh, was it number five or number six? I think I'm still searching. Yeah, I think it was behind that one. Anyway, it was there. Um, once I saw that, I was like, okay, this that alone right there is worth like three hundred dollars. That little mini run. So I'm just thinking, okay, how how can I how can we how can we make this deal? There was some really good spawn stuff in there too. I mean, I realistically I mean I wanted to buy that whole room funny enough I've seen signs around town uh, around where I live where it says I buy comic books or sell me your comic books and it's got like a, a phone number on it 
I was like, who is this guy? And like, I was looking at the number. I was looking, I was like cross referencing the numbers. Couldn't find it. So ended up, uh, man, I had some awesome food, awesome beer. Shout out to uh, the loud. That is what that beer is. Spoilers. We bought the collection. Yeah, everything got condensed down to these three long boxes. This is my reaction of what happened when I found the books in this collection. Check it out. Yes. 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 Literally the last books I found. Literally the last books I found. First and second appearance. Oh my God. So we ended up rebagging and boarding the entire collection. Came out to around 900 comics. All right, everybody. So here's the keys. First off, let me say... This is not my specialty. I consider myself a Star Wars fan, but this is on another level. Like, this is crazy how much information I've had to look up. <laughs> this is it's kind of been a lot, a little bit overwhelming. I've had to take a crash course in Star Wars history. So, anyway, this is the first appearance of Asajj Ventress, and as you can see by my reaction, I mean, this was huge that this was in here. This is a $300 book. All right, this is Star Wars Tales number 14. Uh, this is first Kit Fisto, Agen Calaire. Um, let me just also say, I I do not know how to pronounce some of this stuff. Like, I'm doing the best I can with this. <laughs> so, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure all the Star Wars guys are out there just like, oh, you don't even say it right. And I'm like, I, I legitimately do not know how to pronounce this stuff. I thought this was a cool cover. It's not a key. This is like uh, Ewok uh, Apocalypse Now. So I thought that was kind of cool. This is Star Wars Tales number seven. Uh, this is first Aelin Vell. This is uh, Boba's daughter. And it's also the first appearance of his baby mama. Um, this book is worth $80. And then the cover variant, or the photo variant, which many of these books have these variants, um, this one's worth $55, so a lot of speculation around Boba's family, because obviously we're probably going to get some of that with the shows. This is the photo variant of Star Wars Tales number 9. Uh, this is the first Darth Vader versus Darth Maul. I do not have the regular cover of this. This is Star Wars Empire number 28. A cool uh, Boba, Fett, uh, Boba Fett cover, 20 bucks. This is Star Wars Legacy number 48. Um, this is first Darth Havoc, Darth Yon, Darth Bakar, $30. Star Wars Legacy War number one. This is first Darth Whirlock. Weir I don't know. I'm doing the best I can. Uh, that was $30. This is Star Wars number 10. This book had been hot for a while. Uh, this is first Darth Crate. So he's pretty popular. This is $55. This book also was hot for a while. This is Star Wars number 17. This is first Quinlan Voss. This book is $75. This is Star Wars number 16. Uh, this is the first cover of Yaddle. This is Star Wars 23. This is first Ross Lai. Star Wars 19. This is first Ayalaya Secura, 15 bucks. And these are some good ones. This is Star Wars Jango Fett Open Seasons. Uh, this is first Fett, the father of Jango. $55, and it's also the first Count Dooku. This is the second issue in that miniseries. Uh, this is first Silas, $65. These have great covers. This is uh, number three. Um, this is first Kronari Vasa, $40. And then this is the final issue, $18. I had no idea there was so much value in these Star Wars books. Now this is a cool one. Uh, this is Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace, Wizard number one and a half. Uh, this comes with a certificate of authenticity. This guy, I mean, he was mailing in these books, uh, mailing in vouchers, getting these like exclusive books. 
This is first Anakin, first Jar Jar, first Qui Gon, and first Padme. Here's a good one. This is Episode One, Phantom Menace, number three of four. This is the first cover of Darth Maul, first Mace Windu. This is the photo cover, and here's the big one. This is the cover A. That cover is sick. Uh, first Darth Maul, or sorry, yeah, first cover of Darth Maul again. First Mace Windu, cover A. This is a hundred and eighty dollar book and a high grade. This is Episode One, Obi Wan, uh, the drawn cover. Uh, this is 15 bucks. This is first Darth Maul. And then there's the photo cover, first Darth Maul. Here's a big boy book. This is Star Wars Tales number 24. This is the first appearance of Darth Nihilus. And here's the photo cover. The regular cover is worth $120. This photo cover is worth $110. This is Star Wars Tales number 23. This is the first cameo of Darth Malak, $90. And here's the photo cover. First cameo of Darth Malak and first cameo of Darth Revan. This one's $130. Star Wars Tales number 21. This is first Darka Nil, Nile, 30 bucks. And there's the photo cover. Star Wars Tales number 20. This is a really cool cover. Um, I do not know. Tony, it says Tony Millionaire. <laughs> and here's the photo cover, which is not as cool. Uh, here's Star Wars Tales number 19. This is first Luke Skywalker's son, $45. And then there's the photo cover. And here is Star Wars Tales number 13. This, this is a bunch of stories about Mace Windu. It's an anthology series. And then here is the uh, photo cover. Those are both sweet, 55 bucks a piece. There's more. This is the origin of the Force and the Jedi in Dawn of the Jedi number zero, $35 book. And this book is really hot. This is Star Wars Dawn of the Jedi Force Storm number one. Bunch of first appearances in there. I can't even name all these characters. This is an $80 book. And this is number two. Bunch of more first appearances. So this is something, this is like stories that happened way in the past before the movies. $40 book. This is first Luke as an instructor of uh, Jedi. $25. So you know this is going to be a thing with... Um, th the shows, they've alluded to that. Star Wars Boba Fett, Agent of Doom, one shot, 30 bucks. Anything with Boba Fett is valuable. So here we go with the Star Wars Legacy books, and there's a bunch of keys in this. Um, that's the first cover of Darth Talon. Um, that would be very interesting if this character gets to Disney+. Plus. <laughs> They're going to have to do a, a reskin of her, I'm sure. This is first full Darth Crate and a bunch of other firsts, 60 bucks. All of these books, two, three, four, and five. These are all a bunch of first appearances, 20 bucks, 30 bucks a piece. This is a great cover. This is Star Wars Legacy 16. Um, this is first. Uh, Darth Strife and it's just an awesome cover 50 bucks this is Star Wars Legacy number 17 first Zozon 18 bucks this is first Darth Weirlock 25 bucks and this is a cool recap issue number 0 of Star Wars Legacy 0 and a half 30 bucks. So this is Star Wars Legacy number 20. This is first Darth Aard, Aard, $15. This is a parody comic. Sergio Arones Stomp Star Wars, 20 bucks. This is Samurai Cat, book of three of three. 
I'm assuming this is another parody. I don't have a price on that one. Getting back into the big stuff. Star Wars Republic 52. This is the first cover of Asajj, Asajj Ventress. $90. This is her second appearance in Star Wars Republic number 51. $170. Star Wars Republic 60. This is her origin. $85. This is first Darth I'm not even going to try. This is 20 bucks. Uh, Star Wars Republic 65. This is first clone commander uh, Bly. Uh, Burris Afi. 60 bucks. This is a cool Anakin cover. 30 bucks. Star Wars Republic 71. This is um, a, kind of the Tales of Wedge. This X-Wing Rogue Squadron, $20. Um, there's a lot of Rogue Squadron books. This is first Baron Soon Tier Fell, $20. Bucks. This is a one-shot promotional special, X-Wing Rogue Squadron. It's a small book, $10. Bucks. This is cool. This is San Diego Comic-Con Comics, number four. Uh, this is a, a preview to Air of the Empire, and on the back is a Frank Miller cover. These Star Wars Obsession books are cool covers. Uh, these are like 15 bucks a piece. So we've got Asajj Ventress on number five, a General Grievous book, uh, Obi, Obi Wan and Pan, uh, Anakin book. These are all like 15 to 20 bucks a piece. Star Wars Obsession and number one there. And Star Wars Obsession is definitely the case for this collection. Uh, this is Star Wars The Clone Wars. This is uh, the first appearance of Savage Opress. This is the brother of Darth Maul. This is a $50 book and it does not have the stamp on the back. This is Star Wars Jedi One Shot uh, Yoda book. This is like 45 bucks. This is the first appearance of General Grievous, but it does have this stamp on it. Another little nice mini series here. This is Star Wars Blood Ties, uh, four part. Um, this first issue is 15 bucks. This is the first appearance of Aelin Vell, Boba Fett's daughter, not as a baby, 65 bucks. There's issue number three, and then the sick cover, number four, final issue. Um, awesome cover. Like I said, anything Boba Fett. This is a huge book. Star Wars Jedi vs. Sith. This is first Darth Bane. $120. And then this is his first cover appearance. Uh, 20 bucks. Bunch of first appearances in this book. Star Wars Lost Tribe of the Sith Spiral. Uh, Star Wars Knight Errant number one. Star Wars Old Republic, this is first Darth Moor, and then this other Old Republic book is also $60, both $60. This is Star Wars Mara Jade by the Emperor's Hand, this is her first solo series, um, $25. Bucks. X Wing Rogue Squadron number 25, this is the origin of Baron Fell, $25. Bucks. Now, this next lot. I mean, this is this stuff is huge. This is the Canaan books. This this book has taken quite a dip. Um, these this is actually their first cameos. All these first appearances. Um, this book has dropped to fifty dollars. Uh, the whole mini, the whole series is here. Two, three. There's issue four, and then five. That's a twenty dollar book, and then six. Here's all their first full appearances. That's a hundred and thirty five dollar book and a high grade. Seven, eight, awesome cover, 20 bucks, nine, 10. I mean, this this complete run, and then the big book at the end is number 12, uh, First Grand Inquisitor, it's $45. So that run alone is worth around 300. Star Wars Shadow of the Empire, these are all $15 each. 
great covers. This book right here got hot for a little while. It's actually still maybe hot. Full mini series there, six issues. And that's the, that's the case with this, this whole collection. Um, this is cool. So this is Star Wars 3D, issue one, which is worth $25. Issue two, 15, and this issue three is worth uh, 55 and it comes with um, the 3D glasses so I thought that was really cool this is a cover of Black Kristanen Kardashian uh, this is his origin in number 20 so that, that book was $12 that one's 20 this book got hot too uh, first uh, this is uh, stories before the 1978 film that's a $20 book and then the issue two of that's a $10 book here's an Ashcan Tales of the Jedi Dark Lords of the Sith and then finally this is first Jango Fett I mean this collection is absolutely crazy obviously there's even more three long boxes full if you guys want another video of this showing this whole collection I can this is just the keys um, numbers wise I think where where I'm at here I mean this is over two grand 2500 I don't know the exact figures but so as far as how much we paid for this collection I paid one thousand dollars cash money for this collection I, I think I did fantastic um, with those estimates of you know twenty five hundred dollars in just the keys I think I did great guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If at any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.